Good morning, families. Good morning, students. Full point focus physical education. Remote lesson number nine. The message today is uh, that we practice not only because of uh, the attempt of achieving a good look, but because it makes us feel be better. It makes us feel good. It's a lifestyle. It's a choice that we make in order to have a more balanced and more healthy experience in our life. Let's begin. Into your nose. Quickly out. One more time, in. Out. Center and toes, always practice your balance. Today we're going to progress to sequences of 10 double steps, going through the four basic patterns and then combining them. Let's begin. This is our warm up. Sequence number one, regular jumping jacks. Sequence number two, punching jumping jacks. Sequence number three, scissors jumping jacks. Sequence number four, twist steps. To finish, a combination of all, 10 double steps. This sequence, get rid of your stress, begin stretching and warming up. Switch one, two, three, four, drop. Rotations one, two, three, four. Open up and block one, two, three, four. Stretch. Opposite circles. One, two, three, four. Switch. One, two, three, and cup. Down position. Power here and stretch. One, two, three, four to the side. One. Two, three, four, switch side. One, two, three, four. Practice your blocks. And back. One, two, three, four, switch side. Block. One, two, four. Guard. Open. Touch. Touch one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Attention position. Touch your knees. Ten. 
in and touch your toes. Now let's practice a little bit of balance. We're going to bend our knees, bring one knee up, and then hold position. And down. And repeat on the other side. Don't worry if um, keeping position is not easy, it's a process, you lose your balance, you just reestablish. Now switch, weight on the side, grab the other and close. And down, switch your side and balance and close. And again, two more positions. I'm going to go up and hold. That's it, 10 counts. Try on the other side. And that's it, take your time going to open the hip like you're going for a kick and hold. And switch. Very simple. Try to open the hip a little bit. And down. Let's progress to our First strength exercise, we're going to target our calves. This time we're going to do it from a position. So basically we're going to go up and down. When we go up, we're going to throw a back fist. So from this position, we're going to throw a back fist. This kind of motion, okay? And it looks like this, up. And as we descend, the same arm is going to block, okay? So the full movement is made of one and two, a block, okay, here, ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, switch. So again, we're going to go up and as we do that, we're going to throw a back fist. And when we descend back into our position, we're going to block, block with this part here, protecting this quadrant of the body here. Ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, switch. Let's progress to another movement. This time we're going to target the inside of our thighs with an abduction that in uh, combat is a sweep. So this is the abduction movement, okay? If I do it with an opponent, I'm going to sweep, okay? Sweep, okay? With that, I'm going to combine a lunge in place in which my front knee is going to go close to the ground. And I'm going to add a punching movement with it, okay? So don't get confused. It is a sweep associated with this motion. So I create like a scissor action. Okay. So sweep, down, and punch. 
Got it. Okay? That's the movement. Ready? One. Got it. Two. Got it. Three. Four. Five. Sweep. Six. Seven. as always on both sides so this leg movement sweeping with the arm and when we finish we go down and punch ready one sweep punch two sweep back leg down front leg three sweep down Four, sweep, down. Five, sweep, down. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sweep, punch, and relax. This is the second exercise. We're going to breathe and recall. In. In. Out. In. Out. In. Up. Next exercise, I'm going to target my core. I'm going to do supersets. First exercise, reverse crunches. I will move my lower body, hold my pillow position, and try to connect my knees with my elbows. As I do that, I'm gonna practice my back roll. This is a basic acrobatic exercise. It's something that I need to practice my, for my own safety in case I fall backward. So instead of getting stiff, I'm going to relax and harmoniously roll back. Make sure that you don't have anything behind you when you practice this. If you have the convenience of a mat, that would be fine. But if you follow my advice, you're going to not need a mat, okay? In fact, the first thing I do I lower my position like I will be imploding in my position and I touch my toes and then from there I roll back that way. The first portion of the exercise, I'm going to sustain my neck. I'm not going to pull on it. No pulling. I'm just going to hold it and point forward with my elbows. Then I'm going to roll my hips up until my knees touch my elbows. 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next exercise, I will stimulate the back of my core muscles, okay, my gluteus, my lower back, my lumbar area, and I can do it two ways. I'm going to show you both. One is more basic, and the other one is more advanced. The more basic one, you just go up and down. When you go down, you do not touch them. You stay elevated a little bit, but you try to go all the way up, and then down without touching no touching okay this is the basic one the more advanced one is the one i will perform for my own workout i'm going to position my head this way and then i'm gonna go and push back one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, this is a little bit more advanced form. It involves your neck, but you don't have to do it. This one is plenty to compensate with your first exercise, which is the reverse crunch that I'm about to repeat. So I'm gonna do reverse crunch one more time. Here. This is just to hold my neck in position, not to pull on it. Point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here, again, easy version. Just lift and return, but not all the way. Lift, one, two, like that. Or put your neck down and push and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's it. From this position, I want to complete my roll back. So I'm going to get my head on one side and I'm gonna roll on the other side. So I'm back into the chan position. Center. And make sure that you have space behind you when you do this. Roll up. Fourth exercise. I'm going to do punch in place. Punch in place. Okay, so never drop. Always keep it up. This kind of exercise. And associate with this in place. Okay, I'm gonna do it four times. Then I'm going to descend into my push up position. And I'm gonna do two push ups. I'm gonna do this 10 times. I'm gonna have a total of 20 push ups. I'm a martial artist, I practice push ups on my knuckles. You can practice on your palms, no problem. If you decide to practice on your knuckles, start with a soft area like a mat or a couple of towels on top of each other. And when you feel more comfortable, you can try on something harder. So today I'm going to basically use the hardwood here. So I do my punching and then I do my push-ups with my fist on the hardwood. So I can condition my knuckles. Ready? One, two, three, four. Then I go into my push-up position. One and two. And up. Two. One, two, three, four. Push-up position. Two. And up. Four. Six. Seven. 
Seven. Last one, ten. One, two, and in, out, in, out, in. So you understand the stalling exercise, the way inside exercise is a move to align your energy with your body, but there's also a way to use your body for defense and for attack, okay? This is a block, this is a strike, block, strike. You pay attention these are actually two blocks and a strike one two three one two three cardio as you know I like kicks because it stimulates your quads but also allow you to work on your technique. I'm gonna do three kicks again today. Reverse front kick, and then I'm gonna go to my front leg with a roundhouse, this time followed not by a side kick, but by a hook kick. Let's see if I remember how it's done. So it's front kick, roundhouse, hook kick. So I'm coming from this side with the hook kick. Let's begin. Okay, I'll show you one more time. Front kick. Then you bring your weight back. You free this leg. So this leg now is free. Kick. Now same leg coming this way. Kick. And ready again. Okay? Ready. Let's take our time. One, kick, kick, kick. Two, kick, kick, kick. Three, kick, kick, kick. Balance. Four, kick, kick, kick. Five, kick.
like to show you a few more moves for defense. And then we do the other side. Divide your body into a cross. Four quadrants. Each quadrant you cover with one block. One, two, three, four. Same thing. One, two, three, four. Notice the two blocks down, close your fist. The two blocks up and open. One, two, three, four. Okay? But this is when I see the attack coming on a specific quadrant. So I know I'm getting attacked here, or here, or here, or here. But if I don't know exactly what quadrant, but I know exactly what side, if it's left or it's right, then I can use my arms like wings. One, I'm blocking both sides, up and down, okay? This time, I can point forward a little bit with my hand. <laughs> I'm imitating wings. I'm blocking up, I'm blocking down. Let's do the other side. This is called South Pole. South Pole. The lefty guard. Okay. Right leg forward. Right arm forward. So front kick. Remember? Round house. Then from here, hook. Okay. So one is straight. And this with the back leg. One comes from here. And this with the front leg. One comes from here. And again with the front leg. Okay? Do one more time. One. Prepare. Two. Now coming this way. Three. Guard. Okay. Ready. One. Time. Think. Two. And got the hose. Work your balance. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Front kick. Round house. Hook. Eight. Nine. Kick. Round house. Hook. Last one. Ten, kick, 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 and guard. Power. Wings. One, two, three, four. You notice one block, one block of the four basics. I'm not using this block, I'm not using this block, you're using this, 
and this at the same time. So single, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Double, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No stress. Chin down. Hold four counts. Chin up and push to the side and pull. Switch side and pull. Turn and push. Turn and push, double, catch with your neck, and pull, down, up, switch, stretch, and pull. Cross and hold. Open up. Switch and hold. Very gentle exercise. Nothing extreme. In this position, I'm going to practice a roll forward and I will do some stretching exercise on the floor for my legs, lower body. So from here, I'm going to go down and roll. This position, I land my legs open, I adjust to the camera. Okay, I'm gonna practice some swimming like breaststroke. One, two, three, four. And hold. Okay, up and down. One, this time like butterfly stroke. Two, three, and hold. Okay. One side kick. Back straight. So this is a side kick. It's a position called Yoko Tobikeri. And it's the same. You assume in the air when you jump and kick. Okay. We're going to use it for stretching. Comfortable and safe. Okay. Here. Alright. Try. I try to move toward this leg and feel the stretching right here. Switch side. So, Yoko Tobigeri. And from here, I'm going to try to move toward this leg here. And that's it. Today I will do my cool down in three points candle and I'm going to try sagittal splits instead of frontal splits. Okay, that is our cool down technique. Practice this with a partner or be content just going into a short candle position. Even this is enough to cool down okay i'm giving you this alternative in case you're finding it difficult and you don't have any partner to practice with this is okay for cool down okay just like that 
and relax for about two minutes. I'm going to do my three points with sagittal splits. I prepare, center, lift, and split. Try the other side. And up. I'm going to roll forward and descend into my lotus position. I reposition for the camera. I want to practice my dive and fly today. I remind you, if you still cannot do it, it's okay to do dive and swim. So it's dive and fly or dive and swim. Dive and swim is the easy way, okay? Just to stand like that. But if you can do it, dive and fly, okay? And work towards it. Dive, important to go on top and then up with balance. Always a pleasure to practice with you. Keep up the good job. Be safe. Be healthy. Be happy. God bless you and your families.